Okay. With the eyes. Mm -hmm. So you have. So basically, what do you have? You have eyes here. Uh, that's called every one. That's what is the temperature? And it's melting point. The eye center is melting point, so T1 equals to zero D. And you have some mass, okay? Let's call this. Some unknown amount of mass for the steam, which is in. 100 degrees, right? So this is steam. Mm -hmm. This is ice. You want to mix them together to get... What do you want to get? The liquid water of 50 degrees. So finally, you want to get liquid water, uh, water at 50 degrees. So you can see this will go to water and 50 This will also go to water and 50 But the process is not just a single process here because first what happens is that the 100 steam will have phase transition becomes 100 uh, water. One hundred, and then becomes water at uh, fifty. Okay. Similarly, here what happens is that ice at zero degree will first make some phase transition to have water in zero degree, and this water will go to fifty degree. So basically, you can see here, you have Q1, let's say Q2, Q3, Q4. Four heat involved with each other, always involved in this problem, right? Mm -hmm. And since this is a thermal insulated container, so the energy will not uh, exchange to the outer environment. So this heat and if you add them together, it should give you zero. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the equation you can calculate the initial mass because this Q2, Q3, Q4 can be directly calculated. You know, oh, not, okay. The, so, so if we assume the mass is M1, you can see. How to calculate Q1? Mm -hmm. It should be M1. This is a phase transition from steam to water. So multiply by L, which latent heat should be used here. Heat of vaporization, right? Remember, for the this kind of phase transition is heat of vaporization. Should it be negative or positive? Negative. So steam to water, high energy to low energy. So energy releasing negative, right? And how, what's Q2? So it should be M1 multiplied by C water, right? Multiplied by the temperature change, which is 50 minus 100. Okay. So here it will naturally give you a negative, but you don't have to worry about. It. You don't put side here. So this is a heat absorption or heat releasing during this process. This is a heat releasing during this process. That's phase transition, so the calculation is different. Similarly here, how do you get Q3? That's M2 multiplied by, this is from ice to water, so it should be uh, latent heat of what's that? fusion, right? Okay, and it's positive. Mm -hmm. And here Q4 should be M2 multiplied by C water multiplied by the temperature change which is 50 final subtract initial minus zero. 
So you can see if you put all these things into the equation, you have only one unknown quantity m1. Mm -hmm. So you can solve for that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is 4.2, you said? Yeah. Will you uh, label this one for us, Jesse? Huh? We write 4.2 somewhere. Alright.